Let's talk about some Japanese cultural concepts that are very different from those in the West. Shame society, public disgrace, and how the Japanese family ties this all together. Japanese media has been abuzz because of a recent news story involving a popular young Japanese actor and his very famous and successful mother, who also is an actress. And this story piqued my interest because it goes to show the major differences that exist between cultures of the East and the West. So here's the news story. Last month, Yuta Takahata, age 22, a Japanese actor, was at a hotel here in Japan doing a film shoot. He noticed a beautiful female hotel employee at the front desk. And instead of trying to woo her, that night at 2 a.m., he called her at the front desk and requested that she deliver a toothbrush to his room. When she got there, he dragged her inside and unfortunately sexually assaulted and raped the 40-some-year-old employee. He was promptly arrested by the local police and held at a local jail. After his lawyers had discussions with the victim's lawyers and they came to an agreement and settled the case out of court for an undisclosed amount of money. Last Friday, he was released from the local police station and at the exit in front of dozens of cameramen and photographers, he publicly apologized for his action and did a deep Japanese bow. In addition to him apologizing, his mother Atsuko Takahata, age 61, a Japanese actress, also came forward and she also apologized to the nation for her son's blunder. When I first heard the story, I felt a little bit odd because Yuta is 22, he's a big boy, and in America, American parents wouldn't come out and publicly apologize for their adult children's mistakes. But I've been in Japan for nine years now and I know this is the Japanese way. But I figured I'd give my father a call in California and get his take on this news story. He's a part-time professor of Spanish at College of the Desert in California. So please enjoy some excerpts of our discussion. So it goes to show that in Japan, when a child uh, screws up and brings shame upon the family name, the parents get involved and the parents feel affected and they you know, they will go out and apologize publicly uh, because they're, kind of, they're just so interconnected. So that's kind of what, what I want to talk about. So what, what's your take on, on, that, on this story? <clears throat> it goes back to the history of the Western tradition in that individuals are responsible for their own acts. People are responsible for how they themselves act as individuals. It's part of the Western tradition. And as a result, there's a lot of independence there's a lot of focus on the individual, and a focus on individual rights is, uh, is, is, plays a prominent part in our history, not just that of the uh, United States, but uh, the other countries of North America and Western Europe. So in the Eastern philosophy, you are responsible not just for yourself, but also for your family. And this uh, concept of collective shame is, is a viewpoint, a philosophy that Americans just don't understand. Um, it's a totally alien thought. So in the United States, it would be rare for an adult 
to apologize for the behavior of a, of a, of a grown child. Mm -hmm. And so I totally understand how the Easterns view this, but coming from a Western viewpoint, um, I understand that too. And it's important when the East meets West, this is another classic case of philosophical clashing that occurs. And it takes some time to get familiar with how other people uh, view cultural um, cultural issues that are deeply embedded. It's almost like part of the genetic DNA of the culture. Right. Um, so if this happened in the States and if the child were a minor, do you, do you see a, a celebrity parent making a public apology? Probably not. I, I don't. I don't see that. I, I would probably see uh, parents might use their influence to um, help the child get out of jail, post bail, hire an attorney, something like that. But I don't see that uh, type of uh, public apology. It, it, would, it may occur on occasion, but it, it would sound rather odd to the American ear to, to have people take responsibility for what other people did in their family or in their extended family. Right. An extended family with a baseball team or a football team or people in a classroom or individuals in a school. Uh, in, in your country, in Japan, individuals take broad responsibility for how others behave. I did some research and, uh, for example, Michael Douglas, he's got a son who was in and out of, of a prison uh, for multiple yes. drug uh, possession um, and I think he tried to explain to the judge that it was kind of his fault uh, he was never there yeah. for his son and it wasn't really apology but he was just trying to help help p the public understand why his son was kind of you know kind of a loser I guess I think yes I, I'm familiar with that case his son has been on off heroin for many many years and in that case, and in these other cases, it's not that American parents don't care about their children. They do. It's just that they feel badly that their children are suffering or that their children have made mistakes. But they don't feel an obligation to take a step further and to apologize to the nation or to, to the community for the bad behavior of their, student, of their child. That extra step is just not part of the American culture, and that's the difference. Right. Um, and another interesting thing is that uh, the hotel employee uh, who was, uh, you know, assaulted, um, she, you know, she's hiding behind <clears throat> lawyers, and uh, I don't think that she'll ever make a, a public appearance. I was talking to Cindy, and uh, we talked. We, we felt that an American woman who was sexually assaulted would probably find some uh, uh, maybe gossip magazine or corporation like National Enquirer for example and say okay if you give me fifty thousand dollars I'll come forward and have a you know one-on-one -on -one interview with so-and-so and I'll just you know put it put it uh, release everything and let you know my story and it will kind of be a business opportunity for the woman, and the woman will be will be then known to the public. But the woman would be, you know, she would be happy because she'd have a lump sum of money, for example. So, but in Japan, they they wouldn't do that. Uh, wouldn't you agree about a woman, an American woman, doing that? We've seen that case after case after case where women have come forward who have been victimized, and they will make a lot of money by going to the press or writing a book or striking some sort of a movie deal. Right. And they will financially capitalize right. uh, on the personal violation. Right. So another, another example uh, between that and that is it looks like in Japan there's so much shame associated with that type of violation that they just will not come forward, even if there could be a lot of money involved. And I would probably say it's a lot more than $50,000, too. I mean, you might want to add an extra zero onto that. Wow, wow. Yeah, interesting. That's that's another big cultural difference. The, the 22 year old, he he doesn't he doesn't have any criminal record, but his career is over, 
and uh, in Japan, nobody's going to want to, uh, you know, take him under their uh, their wing. And even the mother, when, when she apologized, she said that for the remainder of the year, she will not be making any appearances. She's going to be kind of like a, a hermit. And uh, her work may also be affected. And that's something totally normal here in Japan. You know, she, she could get uh, some sponsors that just uh, release her from the contract. Yeah, that, that's a possibility. But that's another difference here in the United States, and that is if a child, especially a grown child, were to do something wrong, it would not have much of an impact upon the parent's high-profile career. Right. Because people here separate individuals in the sense that children misbehave. That is on them, not necessarily upon the parent. Now, the parent may have been... I don't know, negligent in some way, perhaps. But most people just say, well, that child pays the price and goes to prison, but I still like that the way that father acts in movies and also go to his movies, etc. I hope you've learned about some cultural differences between Japan and the United States. Which style is culturally superior? That's a tough question. I can completely understand both lines of thought. What I will say is that in my opinion, I feel I am my own man and I wouldn't want to be held responsible for the foolish actions of a close family member. I would try to distance myself as much as possible from that person in order to protect myself and my image. Hello everyone, Selena here. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please share this and subscribe to our